Hello, this is Ruth. Thanks very much for joining me today. I am going to give you a quick run through the putting together of a pinwheel card and then I'll give some explanations down below and different measurements for different sizes of this card. Now, the concept of a pinwheel card was not my idea, it's someone else's and I actually don't know who it is or I would give them the credit for it, but I've seen lots of these about and um, different sizes and whatnot. But the one I'm going to make right now is going to fit into a 6x6 six six envelope. So it's going to be 15 centimetres in height. I will give you the measurements for some other sizes down below there, as I said before, but um, this is the basic principle and then you can go ahead and make your own. I'll be having more of these types of videos too, so if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, don't forget to do that and hit the notification bell and then you'll see those as they come up. And also don't forget to let me know in the comments down below what other type of card you'd like to see or what other t type of video you'd like to see as well. So thanks for doing that. So first of all, the very first thing we need to do is make the centre of the pinwheel. I've just got a, a quick example that I've run through here for myself before I started. Um, and you need to make this centre part here and I'm going to do that with a piece, I've got some cream card here. I'm actually using some very old paper, some paper pad that if you look back I've been trying to use up some of my paper and um, I'll give you a link to that video as well. But for now I'm actually just using it for matting and layering. Uh, it's called It's a Boy and it's a very old trim craft pad and it's a 6x6. Six six. So this one is... This piece of card measures 11 centimetres across the way by 15 down and I've scored that every two and a half centimetres this way. So two and a half, five, seven and a half and ten and then you've got a one centimetre lip here. So we'll go ahead and just reinforce all those score lines. <laughs> And then this will go together by putting some adhesive down here. So I'll do that. You could add double sided tape if you like, but I'm just going to use some wet glue. And there we are. And I'm just going to set that aside to dry while I get my other pieces ready. So for the pieces that you need to move around here, these are going to be seven and a half centimetres by 15 and you're going to need four of those. So how you'll know is the width of your card, if this is going to be a square and it's 15 centimetres square to fit into the envelope, you will cut each of these half of that. So this is seven and a half then by 15. And then I'm going to go ahead and attach each of those onto all of these sides the whole way around so that that opens and folds around. Before I add those on, what I'm going to do then is do some matting and layering on top of them. So because this is 7.5 cm by 15, I have cut some layers here and these are 7 by 14.5, so they're half a centimetre narrower and half a centimetre shorter. And I'm going to layer those on top there. And then whenever you see the card opened out like this, there will always be the back of the piece showing here because you've got half of this showing on this side. Uh, it's not quite half but you'll, you'll have part of this showing on this side. So what you need to add on there is pieces of 4.5 centimetres by 14.5 and, and you're going to need four of those as well. So I'll add these ones on and then I'll cut some 4.5 by 14.5. I think I normally would be, because I'm right handed, I would probably set this down and put the larger page over to the right. But I've had a look through this paper pad and there's a beautiful page in it that has a little pram on it on one side and then little shoes and it matches because there are flowers in the corner of both. So when I have a look at the way this would go on to the, the uh, centre here, I'm going to add this on this side and then turn it around because that way this will um, be in the right place whenever it's folded. But normally I feel that I would be putting it to the right. But anyhow, this is how I'll do it this time. So I'm going to add 
glue down the left here on this panel. Now you don't want to get glue on the fold at all, you just want to get it inside there. Whoops. <laughs> um, just move that over and down the centre and then we can add this piece on like so and just make sure that it's not overlapping the edge so you want it to look like that and then just move it around and add the rest of the pieces on Now you won't need to worry at all if you're not trying to match something up. You can just go ahead and put whatever pieces you want on there. But this is where I want to match this one up. So I just thought that looked really nice because of the, the way this continued across. So once you've got all these larger pieces on, then on the backs of the other pieces, that's where you're going to add all the four and a half by 14 and a half strips. And I'm just going to glue those on there now. It's covered on every side now. Doesn't that look really good? So I have my new die set that I got from scrapbook.com a while ago. It's just sitting here and I went ahead and die cut some borders because I noticed that the border on this just fits perfectly down there and can be cut off there and I thought that matched really well with that. So this one won't need it at all but I'm going to add it on some of these other pieces. So I've got a little heart border. It's beautiful for a baby card there. So I'm just going to glue that on there and then nip it off here. I've got the, see there are six of them here. So there's a, a broad one here with no pattern on and that's absolutely beautiful for layering any of these other ones on top of. So I've got that one and I thought that looked lovely. And this other one again and then somewhere here, yep this beautiful one here. So I'm going to go ahead now and glue those on there. That's it all put together now and didn't that turn out really beautiful? I know I say I would have had the larger side to the right, being right-handed, that, that would have come naturally, but that looks really well. And look, all those beautiful borders on there as well, and the lovely paper, and just the really nice shape of the card. So that uh, paper pad actually had lots of lovely little stickers in it, and I just used those along with the borders, and that turned out really, really well. So now I am going to go on to make, that was what I would call a six by six, because as you can see there, that's a 15 centimeters by 15 centimeters. Now the next one I'm going to do is five by seven, and really just because it's five by seven and that's in inches, I have measured everything in inches here. So this is the piece that you're going to use for the center this time. And I have cut that to four and a half inches by five. So four and a half this way by five. Um, I've scored it at every inch, so we've got one, two, three and four and then you've got half an inch here and that's the piece that's going to get glued on like the last time for the centre. And now we want four pieces of cream card or whatever card you're using and they're going to be three and a half inches by five inches. So as I said before, when you put this together and you, you know that it's going to be five inches this way. It's going to be seven this way to fit uh, into what would fit a five by seven envelope. Um, because that is going to be seven, you'll divide that in two and you get three and a half and that's the size of this mat. So this one is going to be three and a half by five. And then I have cut 
uh, different pieces of patterned paper and uh, it's a quarter of an inch smaller so I've got three and a quarter by four and three quarters and I'm going to mat that on top of there and this time I've got the others ready already I just like that so I wanted two same as in this one I've duplicated that beautiful flowery pattern there so that's just a beautiful two so what I'm going to do this time then is glue this together and this time we'll head to the right and that feels right so I'll glue all that together and I'll be right back ahead with this one and the panels on this side then were two and a quarter inches by four and three quarters and I've glued those on. Then I have added some more borders like I did on this one with the same die set. Uh, a little layering heart there. Now this one has different colours of pink, different shades of pink. I need to watch because I've got some wet glitter glue there. But I have taken the little dandelion and dragonfly delight stamp uh, die set from Tonic and I've added some of that in here and the dandelions and the little dragonfly over here and just continued on around. Now, this one has got some glitter on um, and it hasn't just dried yet so I need to just be very very careful with that but I think that turned out really well and that's just showing you the different size and I've got thinking of you in there and there you are. So that should make that very very easy to follow I think um, now that I've given you the sort of principle of how that goes together and you can follow that through for any size of card that you want for whatever envelope size that you want it to fit in and obviously as you can see there they fold flat then to go in that envelope so this will go in a 6x6, six six, this will go in a 5x7 and you can adapt. So you can let me know if you try this and how it turns out and all the rest of it, I'd love to hear from you and uh, in the meantime don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. That way that um, makes it more visible to other people as well if you can sort of interact a bit with that and, and I appreciate it very, very much. I, there's a few things there I think possibly that I have uh, links to as well if you want. I'll put them down in the description below. Um, there'll be affiliate links to just a couple of things. As I say, the papers and things are actually rather old but uh, I'll add the link to that. Uh, paper video that I have as well and in the meantime keep safe and well and be good bye bye mm -hmm.